there! My name is Provis, and welcome back to more Hearts of Iron 4, playing as the Communist States of America. <sighs> Going for the Georgia on my mind achievement, though you would be forgiven for forgetting that, because I did forget to take South Georgia in the war, but it's okay! We'll annex the Union of Britain, and we're gonna eat their entire navy as a result. It's gonna be fine. In the meantime, the Germans are also fighting against the Soviets. Which means the Soviets are going to die a horrible death, but I'm not worried about it because I am looking forward to eating them. It's gonna be great. Close the Burma Road? Why would I do that? I don't know why I would want to do that. It doesn't really matter too much to me. Anyway, we're just gonna go ahead and start building up that uh, economy. We're gonna get more oil, we're gonna get more rubber production, and we're gonna start making the Union of Britain like me so that we can begin the annexation process, which is gonna take a lot of political power, but it's probably fine. Who's actually worried about it? It's gonna be absolutely fine. I'm trying to slowly get the Philippines to join on the communist side. They're working on it at 41%. More unassigned divisions. Oh good, the first batch of tanks are getting ready. Excellent! All oh, right, I said I need to get some more generals over here, didn't I? Uh, we need people with primarily good defensive things. None of these guys are especially great at the whole defense thing, so I'll go ahead and take... I guess I'll take you for this. I'll take you for this. We need a good tank general, ideally. I don't know if we have anyone who's good with tanks, technically speaking. Um, Patton? You got motorized armor, speed, and attack. Yeah. Patton would be a better offensive general. And then we swap you out for another defensive guy that I don't care about. Like Patch. Sorry, Patch. I don't mean anything by it, but there you go. Um, I don't really know if I care about any of these traits here either. That doesn't matter too much. Okay. All looking good. New traits? What can you get? Eh, you don't matter. And we need, of course, a new field marshal as well, of which I don't have any. So we'll just promote somebody. How about... Um, How about you, I guess? There. Part of the issue is I should probably not have Eisenhower as our field marshal. I could swap him out. Make him field marshal so he applies his bonuses to everyone. And then swap you over to this guy with the super good attack value? I don't know. Whatever. It doesn't matter. Okay. So we're just going to rearrange all that. Everything's looking fine. I'm not worried. It's all okay. Tanks are coming out. When we have tanks, that'll feel really good. So let's take a look at the whole current wars thing, because we need to keep an eye on this. The Soviets need to get 80% of the way towards capitulation. Now, we know that once, like, Moscow and stuff falls, you'd think that's the end, but it's not. The Soviets are a massive nation. The Germans are going to have to push across the Ural Mountains down over here into the south. It's going to take them forever to do. Right? So we should have time to react and say, hey, they're at 80%, let's click the button and annex all of the Soviet Union. That should not be a problem. So we'll keep an eye on this, and we'll be ready for it. As far as the research and stuff, how are we doing? We're still working on that atomic research, trying to get some more factory spaces. I'm gonna save up my political power. Uh, yes, I know the Soviets want me to join, but I have no intention of doing so. Sorry, buds! But, um, I have been using you this whole time. Haha, -ha, you have fallen for my trap. A lot of naval engagements going on over here against the Germans as well. Yeah, the Soviets literally don't stand even a hint of a chance. The only reason the Soviets do so well in World War II is because America gets involved. But when America stands back... Nope. Nope. You're doomed. But you're part of Comintern. You should get involved anyway. It doesn't matter if you're communist and any historical. Don't care. Die, Soviets. Die. Die. Ha 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 ha. Oh, we need to trade for a bit more steel. Uh, sure, we'll trade for a bit here. That's fine. Uh, more decisions we can take. I'm already still working on the Philippines. That's kind of all that matters. I've got full support right now in Congress. Oh, we were supposed to readmit people into the Union, weren't we? I forgot about that. Because <laughs> we haven't needed it up to this point. But yeah, uh, that was a thing we were supposed to do, was continue coring all of my states. We got plenty of manpower, we got plenty of factories. Who cares? It's not that big of a deal. And in the meantime, it's just costing me a lot of political power to do all of this. I'm gonna need a lot. I'm gonna need a lot in order to make the uh, UK love me. Although I should say, their, um, their autonomy points appear to be dropping pretty significantly. Hey, there's the upgrade to our fighters there that we wanted for our Navy. 
What else we want? Um, we could go for an ahead of time bonus for our anti-air. 1944. 1941. Looking for anything that'd be really important to me right now. Upgrades to company? Yeah, let's go for an early upgrade to our engineers, I guess. Might as well. What's this? We had a whole other army? Oh, right. I forgot about you guys. Hi! We toss you under Eisenhower as well. And give you, I don't know, how about this guy? And another fallback line over, I don't know. Let's, let's, let's go check out Norway and stuff. Just have some troops in position when we're ready to go against the Germans. Change your color up a little bit, though. Gonna need a lot more tanks than that. But we don't have enough. We're still not producing anywhere near enough tanks to make this work. This has always been the crazy thing about tanks, man. I mean, if you don't design, like, a really cheap one... Like, even when you have 40 factories on this, we're only making 14 a day. That's it. Fact, uh, tanks are expensive, dude. I mean, I don't regret it. We're gonna end up having really good tanks, but, like, dude... Painful. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and build more military factories, because once we annex these guys, we're gonna wish that we had all of them, so that'll be great. Can build this stuff fairly quickly. Subject-wise, um, not a lot longer to go. Yes, yes, I know. They're be they're begging me for help. America! Just, like, sitting here, like, just hanging out on my smartphone, not really paying attention. America! Nope, not listening. I can't hear you. La, 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 la. Get out of here, Soviets. Another operatives, huh? Mm, okay, how about a seductive person? Mm, yeah. Sure, why not? You seem good. Let's go seduce the Germans. It's a good motto in life in general. Let's go seduce the Germans. What kind of, what kind of tech and stuff? Like, how, how many troops do we actually think you have? A lot. A lot. I got a lot too, but you got a lot. Plus, you got the entire axis on your side. But it's not going to matter. It's going to be fine. Anything else we want to do over here? Answer should be no. Uh, tank destroyer doctrine? Okay, here's a thought. Main battle tanks make medium tanks cheaper. Yes. Absolutely. We were just talking about this. Reducing their cost by, what was it, 10, 15%? That's going to be pretty significant for us. We're going to be able to produce a lot more tanks over time. Uh, I have more factories coming in. We're producing all of the flame tanks. The answer to this, of course, is just go ahead and keep producing more tanks. How are we doing on things like motorized? we got enough trucks for the moment. We're going to need mechanized at some point, but I usually don't bother with that until we get to mech 2. More naval doctrines are available. Hmm. Let's go for some escort efficiency and stuff. Let's make our destroyers a smidge better. Oh, right. Navy. Get back over here, please. And we lost so many submarines, it hurts. We really did. You guys are going to group up. You guys are going to group up. So, subs. Go ahead and toss a couple extra dockyards that direction so we can produce more. That should be fine. I want you guys to join up. Well, what I want to do is create a reserve, really. And just have them sit in the reserve and not go anywhere crazy. But I guess for now it's okay. Um, you guys are going to... Go to the border up here in Scotland. I don't know. Just keep ferrying a few troops around. We'll be fine. You guys are going to... I don't know. Go over here against Nation Francais. Francais. Whatever. Just be in position in case we need to do anything unpleasant, alright? Now, Australia still exists, despite the fact that Britain doesn't. They're still part of the Allies, weirdly. No one ate them? Well, that's disappointing. Poland still exists, technically, as a one-province minor, two-province, whatever, over here. And they're the leader of the Allies. What? What? Why did anyone finish them off? I didn't want that territory. Whatever. Anyway, manage subjects. Let's reduce the autonomy. There we go. We are now looking to annex them. I need 300 political power to do it. And it's going to take a while to get their autonomy down, but it's fine. We'll get it. We'll get it. Let's get some more resources going over there. Um, what else? Uh, we're going to get uh, air bases. Yes. Yes. The British love their air bases. You also love anti-air, right? 
Yeah, Island Nation anti-air. Boom, boom, boom in the sky. Flack, flack, flack. That's what you like. Wow, Gimli. I heard you. You sound like you're having a great time down over there. Uh, we need more fighters and close air support. I have a lot of factories all of a sudden. We must have just hit like an important tier for uh, making some people happy with some subjects. Uh, air superiority, 15%. That'll be great. Uh, still have a couple more factories to work with. How are we doing on the guns now? We, we have infantry equipment. I'm not sure we have enough, but we have some. Artillery is still not as good as I'd like it to be. Let's go ahead and start producing more. Get those upgrades at the very least. Then I think after that, focus more on fighters and close air support. We should be able to produce plenty of tanks. It's just now a matter of getting enough air dominance that between the two, our combined arms forces absolutely obliterate everything. Entrenchment on this guy does me zero good, so we're gonna ignore that for the moment, thank you. How's it going there, Soviets? Oh no, are you taking steps back? No, don't do that, no. I like that none of my subjects have joined. They're all watching my queue. All the Soviet subjects, they're involved, but like, for us, nee. Nee, we're not gonna bother. Have fun! <laughs> um, we could start trying to infiltrate the administration of the uh, Germans. Not sure I need to do that right now. Let's go ahead and learn a bit more about things like their armies. I'd like to learn a bit more about what you've got. Better sense of tanks. Now, I haven't researched any anti-tank. That is probably the one thing I'm worried about with the Germans, is that I still don't have any of that. And I could really use, like, some tank destroyer divisions, or at the very least, some anti-tank being built and attached to a lot of my armies, because you know they're gonna have a lot of armor. And being able to pierce that is gonna cause a lot of economic damage to them. Speaking of economic damage, you know what also would be awesome? Would be to get a lot of bombers, so we can just bomb their industry down into oblivion. We think they've got a few thousand planes, like 100,000 manpower or more uh, being attached to this. That is a lot of planes. Credit where it's due. I mean, I got a couple thousand of my own, but yeah, they got, they've got as many planes as I do. That's a small problem. No, Soviets, not gonna help you stop asking. But please! Nope. We're dying! I don't care. You're a terrible ally! I know. I know it, it's okay. Um, let's go station some troops up here against the borders of, like, China and stuff or something. I don't know. Let's have a few troops set up over there. I just need to have my troops spread around in places, because they're just sitting in Alaska for no reason right now. We'll set up some troops along here with Italy. And I guess that's fine for now. I don't love it, but... Let's, let's split the forces and have a few over here against, like, Iran and stuff. I'm just spreading my armies out. Spreading them out over the world so we're ready to attack on multiple directions whenever I feel like we need to. Okay? That's all I'm trying to do. Um, I would say let's continue with the socialist education in the Philippines, but I really need to be joining up that political power right about now. Oh, man, we're building things really fast over here, aren't we? Um... You're getting all the factories you can. You're getting all the anti-air. Radar! Doesn't matter. We're just trying to build things. That's all I care about. We've almost got them down here. So, like, the, the, the points here are about to be gone. So now they're ready to be annexed once I get my political power. That's all we're waiting on. And then I'll have the UK. So did that even set me back that far? Nah, we're fine. Wow, that built up pretty fast. Let's go for an Air Force Department. I'd like to learn a bit more, please. About to finish up with the main battle tanks, which means we are now producing really fast. Armored infantry. Research bonuses for the rest of the mechanized. Sure. Uh, Slovakia has been given to Hungary. Why would the Germans even do that, really, though? Why, why, why actually do that when you think about it? Why? Was there a good reason for it? Just felt like being generous? You're a better ally than you give you credit for? Maybe. Atomic research. Finally done. What do you know? Um, it's only 1941. Obviously, I should get some more production efficiency cap. After that, I don't really know what I want. We have an ahead of time bonus for an upgrade to the medium tank. Not to mention, once we finish with this, we can upgrade to cannon uh, main battle tank cannon level 2. 
which will be a pretty important upgrade for the raw stats, and we should definitely do that. Soviets, by the way, still only 39% of the way towards capitulation, so we're just going to keep enjoying that for a while. More doctrines available? Uh, yeah, 10% breakthrough on tanks is going to be pretty great. Still not enough steel. Yeah, I'd love to develop my own steel yards and stuff, but I really can't. Can't afford to do that right about now. I'm gonna have to just sit back and wait. We are about to finish readmitting another state into the Union. That's pretty cool. It'll cost way too much political power to keep doing this, though. Who are we even adding in? Texas? Oh, we're recoring Texas. Well, that's kind of important. That's a frick ton of oil. I'm gonna go ahead and get ahead of time on the next medium tank chassis. Pretty far ahead of time, actually. And... Let's go for another upgrade to the anti-air. Speaking of anti-air, I never attach that to the majority of my divisions. It would be kind of nice to have that. Why do we have all this? Yes, sir. Oh, great. My puppet is giving me his garbage troops now. Great, yeah, no, that's, uh, that's, that's absolutely what I want. Thank you. Straight for a bit more steel with the Soviets, even though they're losing a lot of ground, who cares? We're gonna get all of it for free in a little bit anyway. It's fine, it's fine. Who's worried? It's fine. Air Force Department is done, so we can spy a bit more effectively. Um, Psychological warfare, diplomatic, blah, 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 blah. Radio interception, decryption power would be pretty good. Let's go ahead and learn a bit about that so we can decrypt them in case that ends up becoming useful at some point. Not often, but sometimes it does. Could go for an upgrade for our military high command. Strategic bombing and stuff could be pretty nice. Or close air support's even better. But I'm gonna hold off on that because it doesn't matter right now. So civilian factories, nothing else to do over there, huh? All right, cool. Uh, let's go ahead and just build a frick ton more military factories because we can. And it doesn't matter where I build it because we should have infrastructure maxed out pretty much everywhere. Ha 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 ha! The United States shall always be industrialized. I'm going for that arsenal of democracy, dang it. We've got 230 military factories. That's pretty good. We've got more factories than uh, the Germans. We're definitely outscaling them. Technically, the longer this goes on, the better off we're going to be. Uh, let's see. 40% of the way to capitulation. The Germans are being embarrassing at this point. Come on, you can do better than this. Man. I know you can. Come on, hurry up. Hey, more tanks are finally training up. Yay! Let's uh, make sure we are attaching them all to this guy. Where's your front line? Do we even have a front line for you? We don't. Hang on. And then as you deploy, stop bothering with me with it. Just go ahead and send them over here. 30 wits aren't outstanding, but they're at least not large enough that they're going to take a ridiculous amount of supply issues. And they'll have enough punch behind them, they'll be pretty powerful. I mean, 311 soft attack over there compared to 198 there. They, they have almost as good of a soft attack as my infantry divisions, but, but, they have so much more breakthrough in defense that they're going to be fine. Not even worried. Not even a little bit worried about it. Um, I wouldn't mind getting an upgrade for, like, my close air support or something. Or maybe my carriers. Something there. Eh. Upgrades to the rubber. Don't care. Let's go ahead and start working on the upgrades to our infantry defense and breakthrough. I think that's still going to be helpful. Oh, man, this is just sad. It's like a slow death. I'm watching my best friend drown, and I'm just sitting at the side of the pool, eating ice cream, and waving. Knowing that soon I shall feast upon his flesh! I mean, that's disgusting, sorry, but like, it's kind of what's happening. <laughs> Anyways, you who? Um, alright. Well, hmm. Armored infantry will be done pretty soon, that's gonna be very helpful. Radio interception group is done for some decryption, that'll also be helpful. Become the spy master! Yeah. I'll take over. I know that costs me political power I'm saving up, but I also don't have to do it right now, and this gets me extra spies. How's the cryptology working? It's gonna take forever. Yeah, if you get even, like, a reasonable amount of, like, passive defense going, it's really, really, really hard. Really hard for them to, for, to uh, actually decrypt anything. It's kind of annoying. 
All right, we're swapping out to the better guns early. It's not even 1942. We're a month early on that, but that means I can start building up my efficiency before anyone else does. I'm holding off on this at the moment. I'm shocked we're still not getting enough uh, steel. I just got excavation tech. You'd think I'm getting plenty, but we're exporting so much of it out right now. I guess I could stop being such an export-based economy. I mean, we're at free trade. It's been nice for the factory output and the research. We don't have to do this, though. We could swap out of it. Oh my god, the extra... Okay, now we need a lot of steel. Hang on. Uh, the Soviets don't have any more. I would trade with um, the British. Whoops, we actually don't need this after all. But I don't want to give them autonomy points, so we're going to ignore that for a moment. Let's go to the War Plans Division and get ready for things like War Plan Black so we have a bonus against uh, the Germans. And down over here, let's go ahead and start working on an upgrade for our Mechanized. Then we'll actually start making use of the dang stuff. We have rubber, so I guess now we can go ahead and start building out Mechanized now. It's going to take a long time to get enough. But we can start building up some small amount of efficiency and see if that helps us. Ger uh, Soviets are 51% of the way towards capitulation. We're going to see if this thing works. I have been told... That once I get 80%, we can just pass the decision and we're done. I don't know if it costs political power. I've, I've been trying not to spoil this too much for myself. Now I'm wondering if we actually just cancel this war plans division for a little bit and just start stacking up political power in case. I would hate to pass up on the opportunity to annex the Soviets. Would hate it. Hmm. Well, we're going to find out. I'm just hoping it doesn't come back to bite me, but we're going to find out. Still nowhere enough medium tanks. Gosh dang, dude. We never have enough of these things. We really don't. So many factories. I mean, yes. Could I have made these a lot cheaper? Absolutely. Did I? No. Soviets, trade with me a little bit more, please. Thank you. Another spy is ready to be recruited. Cool. We'll take, uh, I guess, uh, how about uh, a German spy? So he's less likely to be detected. There we go. Keep building up that spy network for a bit. There's the radio interception group. More tanks are ready. Why are you not just joining up over here? Oh, wait, because it's a British tank. The British gave me a tank? That's nice of you. I don't know how good your tanks are compared to mine, but I like it. Um, we could go to tanks and maybe upgrade the Sherman again here with that medium cannon. And I think we probably should. The stat difference is like an extra 40%. It's pretty good. Lots of extra piercing and stuff too. Increases the production cost a little bit, but I think it's worth it. No, wait. There you go, Sherman A1s. Oh my God, that costs so much freaking steel. All right, Japan, can I please? Thank you. This is why we have puppets. So I can easily get all their resources. <sighs> Soviets, 52%. Man, it's taking too long. Hurry up, Germans. I'm feeling impatient. I want to kill them. I want to get in here and kill them. Hurry up. Improved anti-air. That'll be helpful. Uh... Go for some piercing on my infantry? Sure. That makes sense. Especially if we're going to be dealing with tanks. Lots of tanks for the uh, the Germans. I mean, I'm just assuming you're going to have a lot of tanks. How could you not? Well, you don't have as many as I would have thought, to be honest. They've got, they've got like 20-ish tank divisions. I'm going to catch up to that pretty soon, dude. Most of you just got lots of infantry. Now, we need 80% army intel in order to find out exactly what you got on them, so we have an idea whether you have things like anti-tank attached to all of them or not. But, like, yeah. That'll be pretty good. Could you please stop giving me units, Britain? I don't need your crap. Thank you. Um, We'll just keep doing that. We're going to need less trucks over time, so we can start swapping that over. 
We got 6,000 planes ready to deploy at a moment's notice. We're upgrading all of my infantry equipment and all of my artillery. We got plenty of anti-air now and support equipment. I'm not going to pull back on that, though. Uh, I would like to toss even more factories at infantry equipment, specifically for the purpose of getting upgrades out fast for better stats. There's a lot of upgrades we need here. We need like 200,000 infantry equipment. It's going to take a while. We need 5,600 more medium tanks. Yeah, that's going to be painful. But 1,300 is all we need in order to finish training these guys up. So, I mean... Tomato, tomato. All right. More factories going to the improved tank chassis. War plans division is done. So do we just sit on this and make a lot of uh, political power for a while? I think the answer might be yes. We do nothing for a while and just enjoy an absolute ton of that. Bombers. It's probably time to start learning how to do bombers. Because I wouldn't mind bombing the German industry into oblivion if we can get air superiority. Intervention in Europe is fun. War Plan Black would be very helpful when the time comes. But the thing is, just because the Soviets are going to die, I don't, I'm not at war with the Germans unless they decide to declare war on me immediately afterwards, which they might, but like, meh. How did you regain ground? Germans, I swear to God, don't, 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 don't fail on me. Come on, the Soviets are all on their own. You can beat this. I mean, I, I know you didn't build very many tanks, but you can beat this. I swear to God, if the Germans don't die and I have to go fight the Soviets, I'm going to get peeved. I'm going to be peeved. All right, mechanized level two is now coming out. Uh, the American Raj. I'd like some steel from you, please. And I would like to maybe not go ahead of time on that yet. Let's go for an upgrade to logistics companies. That'll be helpful. I don't know. We can try to reduce some autonomy of a few subjects up over here and make them like me. Go do that. I got more with my... I, I got more civilian factories than I should know what to do with at this stage of the game. Although it is fun to note, we still never went to war economy, did we? Yeah, that's true. We never did go for war economy. Haven't needed it, to be honest. Um, but it's not a bad idea. But I'm saving up political power, so right now it's a bad idea, but later it could be pretty good. Let's get that recon company up and running. Still want to do a national focus, don't feel like I can. Come on, Germans, you're disgusting me. All right, I'm going to jump forward a little bit, guys. Oh, this is exceedingly boring. The Germans simply aren't pushing as effectively as they kind of need to be. Um, I mean, they managed to grab Moscow, which is kind of huge, but... Still nowhere near enough. The Soviets are kind of annoying. The thing is, I would justify and declare war on someone like, I don't know, Sweden, or just start pushing around against, like, Brazil. But, like, I don't dare, because I'm part of Comintern, so they'll join the Axis, which means I'll get into war against the Germans. And my entire strategy here, right now, depends on me not being at war with the Germans, so I can reset them all the way back to their borders and deny them all their gains in Russia. Right? They'll have made all this progress, and then they get all reset, and they're like... Dang you, Ameriki! That's what they're gonna do, right? So, I can't, I can't do anything for a while. Here's what I can do. I can, I can go ahead and annex the Union of Britain. Why? Because I looked it up, and uh, it doesn't cost any political power to join the unions, which is absurd. So we're gonna go ahead and spend 300 and just go boom. And now, I own Britain. Including, haha, -ha, South Georgia. There, I have rectified my error. Are you happy, people? You should be. All right, I got a lot more troops that I now have to go and assign. Oh, 28? That's not that many. Well, that's disappointing. Um, you know what? I'm going to take all you guys. I'm just going to disband you because I bet you you suck. Anyways, who? we have now a lot more dockyards to work with. And by a lot, I mean at least a few. That's pretty cool. Uh, let's go ahead and produce more destroyers. And then we just go ahead and do this. And boom, we're now making as much as I can of everything. Perfect. Perfect. And we get all this stuff. I built up Britain just so I could eat it. It was delicious. Nom, 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 nom. Don't worry. I'll go ahead and reunite you with your Scottish brethren in due time. But America has done a little bit of a reverse, uh, a little bit of a reverse colonialism thing here against our former 
colonial nation many, many hundreds of years ago at this point. I'd say many, like 200, less than that actually, more like 150, whatever. The point is we ate Britain, it sounds fun. It's always fun as the Americans to eat Britain in some way or another. Let's go for military police because we're going to have a lot of occupation problems at some point. And let's go ahead and start researching more upgrades for engines and armor on my tanks because uh, we already were having trouble keeping a relatively fast division. I mean, by relatively fast, I mean my medium tanks are way too slow. So having some more upgrades we can toss into the engines, even though it will cost me more industrial experience, is probably going to be for the best. As far as our tanks, we are almost done, finally, on this. I just need... Actually, no, we have everything. That's all the tanks. Now we just need to finish training these guys and we're done. So now we can actually start upgrading all my tanks a little bit by a little bit. Beautiful. So we really are going to have some obscenely good stats in just a bit. Oh, look at all these disgusting templates I just picked up. Ew. Get out of here. I don't like any of these. Sorry, Soviets. Not going to be a thing. Um, so here's what's probably going to happen. I'm just going to, like, sit here for a bit. I'm not going to worry about, you know, like making entertaining content for a little while. I'm just gonna let this go until the Soviets are basically dead. And then I'll come back in the next video so we don't have to have another episode where I do nothing but talk about how much I hate the Soviets. That'll be fine, right? I'm sure you guys will appreciate that. That'll be great. By the way, did we get like all your planes? Because I imagine we did. Oh yeah, we did. <laughs> I get a huge Air Force and I get the rest of the British Navy, which was huge! It turns out. Okay, this is gonna be fun. <laughs> Alright, thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If so, I would humbly ask that you hit that like button, leave a comment, subscribe, make sure you hit that notify bell, and I will see you guys next time.